In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Minato Namakaze from Naruto in Shindo Life Roblox. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, the goals for this video are, the first thing is to of course dress up as Minato Namikaze. After that, we need to obtain his two bloodlines, Minakaze and also Senko or Azim Senko, either one would be fine. And then after that, we need to max them up, level them all up. And then at the end, after we've done all of that and unlocked all the forms, we're going to be fighting our rival. He's not really our rival, he's like our student. We're going to be fighting Obito. So yeah, stick around to the end to see what happens. Alright guys, so the first thing that we need to do is, of course, to make a brand a new account. We're going to be calling it Minato Finity, like so. Oh, we spelled it wrong. There we go. Oh, okay, Namikaze Finity, maybe that might work. Okay. There we go. This should give us some extra look so we can get the mini Kaizi bloodline straight off the bat. All right, and now we sign up. We, of course, save our account. All right, now the first thing that we need to do is we're going to have to go and edit character and look like Minato. We have zero rail coins here. So we're going to be using some new codes that they've added. All right, okay, we have 327 spins and 77,000 rail coins, which should be enough to look like Minato. So yeah, I'm going to basically dress up as Minato and I will see you guys after we're finished basically looking like him. All right, and just like that, we've basically looked like Minato. We have his Edo Tensei face and we have his Hokage clothing. Oh, it's kind of dodgy, the Hokage clothing. However, we're going to, of course, cover that up because I'm pretty sure there's some Hokage. Do we get this one? We can cover that up with a cloak and I don't know which cloak I usually get. I think the cloak that I usually get is basically, wait, if I go in a character, I think the, the cloak is for free, I'm pretty sure. Or right, this is the cloak that we normally have, but we need to be level 1000, unfortunately. So for now, we're just gonna keep this look here without the cloak. So to be honest, the bloodlines that we need is Minikaze and Senko, or like Azim Senko, or any of those Senkos. To be honest, maybe Pika Senko. However, I really want Senko itself because that is the Namikaze bloodline. And of course, also Minikaze because that's Minato's bloodline. So yeah, we're gonna keep on spinning until we get either of them. However, I've also learned from the comments because there was a lot of people that commented we can actually go unlimited and purchase a lot of them and I don't think, can we purchase Minato? How much is this? Okay, 180,000 rel coins. <laughs> so we have 71,000 so we won't be able to afford that. Is there the Senko bloodline? Okay, the Dio Senko. Okay, that's 135,000. So unfortunately for now, so for now we can't of course be able to afford it and also for the elements we're gonna just go for air and that's it to be honest we don't really need another element except for air. So yeah I'm just gonna be spinning here until we do get any decent bloodlines and I will see you guys then. Oh okay we got Ryan Gaiden and we're gonna spin it unfortunately we, but yeah we, we actually so far 50 spins in around like 50 spins in and we've got Ryan Gaiden which is a very like one of the best bloodlines in the game just unfortunately. <laughs> We can't use it. We're just trying to go for Minikaze here and Senko. But yeah, I think if we get Senko, we need to get them both in the same account, I feel like, because it'll just make the challenge a lot, lot better. i just seen Senko there. To be honest, Azim Senko would also be very, very good. I feel like Dio Senko is more like Jojo Bizarre Adventure based, so we're not going to go for that. So it's either Azim Senko and Senko or Minikaze. So yeah, we're just going to hope... The main one that we definitely, definitely need is Minikaze. Oh, we got Renshiki and Tengoku too, bro. We're getting some decent, decent bloodlines. However, we're still gonna have to spin them. We're just aiming for that Senko and for that Minikaze. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on spinning and just hope for the best. All right, guys, we also got Azim Senko, which is one of the bloodlines that we are allowed to use. So now we've got 183 spins to get Minikaze. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on spinning. I'm hoping we do get Minikaze on this account. I'm hoping. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on spinning and spinning. And yeah, just, just ho I'm just hoping for the best, basically. All right, guys, and the last spin we got Ice. Okay, so one of the accounts we got Azim Senko, but of course, we didn't get Minikaze. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on spinning on different accounts until we do get Senko or Azum Senko and Minikaze on the same account. And I will see you guys when that does happen. All right, guys. So after a lot of spinning, we finally have Minikaze and Senko on the same account. To be honest, I prefer getting Senko than Azum Senko because I feel like Senko is going to be like one of those cheap bloodlines that are going to be for like eight to 20,000. Because I, can, I know for a fact Azim Senko is going to be very, very expensive. So yeah, we stuck with Senko because it's just in the, in the long run and in the short run, it's going to be better. And let me spawn straight into Blaze. All right, we have spawned straight into Blaze Village. Okay, so on menu, we already have 6,000 coins, which is amazing. 
and if we go in L bloodlines please be cheap okay yes sir i knew it was gonna be cheap and when's okay the mode is at level 600 when's the minikaze mode oh level 400 okay so we're gonna lock the minikaze mode before the senko mode but the best thing about this is it is very 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 cheap and also for the elements the wind element is the only element that we can technically use and they're not that expensive either and the first thing that we normally do is do some easy, easy missions that don't require lots of work, like this red mission right here. Can you deliver some groceries for me? Yes, sir. To be honest, the hardest thing that I feel like is going to be in this video is getting mode 3 for Minikaze because we're going to have to kill him a lot of, lot of times until he drops it. I think it's like a 1 out of 15 drop. So it's going to be very, very hard, I feel like. But especially with like these bloodlines that we have, I feel like they're more tailored to PvP, not PvE. So killing bosses is going to be kind of difficult. So I feel like, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge trying to get that mode. To be honest, also, if we have a little bit of time left in the video, we might also try and go for that Ezim Senko drop. I think it's like the the flash. I forgot what it's, I think it's called a flash kunai, whatever it's called. That would be very, very good. It's like a one out of 16 drop. And it's a very, very, very good like thing to have because you can like teleport everywhere with it. So we could potentially go for that at the end of the video too. But the, our main priority is basically getting, I think it's Minikaze mode 2 or mode 3, whichever one, that's our main priority. All right, and the deliveries are complete. Okay, hopefully this mission is the cat one, okay? The graffiti one is the most annoying one. Maybe you can find like a blue mission, like a good blue mission. Okay, that mission already got to level 30 by that one mission, which is so, so good. Have we unlocked any? Okay, we've unlocked two oh, that's very very good we've unlocked two of our daily quests that are going to give us how much they're going to give us twenty one thousand. so we can actually level up these basically these three moves here which is amazing and also we can unlock our first move our first move is level 60 that's very very good all right okay is this blue one the missing cat one can you clean up the kagi's office bro these ones are the worst ones i feel like now i might just do a little bit of log grinding just so we can get you know to like level i want my bloodlines i want i want to try and get to like level 120 yes 120 so we can lock two moves and also one of the bloodline moves so we can actually start doing green scroll missions there's no point of really doing like delivery missions anymore we can get straight into the green scroll missions if we do like a little bit of log grinding so yeah i'm gonna log grind until our bloodlines are at level 120 ish and i will see you guys then all right guys after a little bit of grinding on the logs we've managed to get to level 42 with also our bloodline being level 124 so we can unlock this move here which we are going to do oh we need chi actually and our elements of course to level 120 and we're gonna go with stats we have 700 stats i'm gonna put 300 300 and then 138 like so and then now we can unlock this move we need 360 chi i'm so oh i'm such an idiot okay wow okay we can't unlock that move but we can unlock these elements here this one oh we can only unlock one move wow wow i made a big mistake okay let me just Okay, we've got some stuff here that we can do. But I think we need to do like one of those like mini missions to start off with. Let me try and do one of, one of like the blue missions. Can you find my missing cat? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm hoping this gives us a decent amount of XP because we need that. And also, I just realized even if we, we need a mode actually to actually like become powerful because for now, I feel like we're going to get destroyed easily by the bandits without our mode, especially with 8,500 HP. How much cheat did that give us? 180. There we go. That should be more than enough. Okay. I can unlock this element here. Okay, we need, oh, we need 500 chi for that. Can we unlock this at least? Okay, finally. Okay, I'm going to put this in V for now until we unlock the Minikaze moves. And we have two moves here. And I want to see how well I do against the green scroll guys with only two moves. So let me just talk to this guy here. I'm hoping we do well, but I don't. I doubt it. Because with two moves and 8,500 HP, we're going to be in a big, big trouble. I just hope that our, one of our mods would have been like unlocked earlier, like level 50, like the Akamas. The Akamas are so, so good for beginners because once you're level 50, you can literally unlock them so easily. And we don't even have enough chi for the move, bro. What is going on? Oh, we don't even have enough chi for the move. So the only move that we can use is this move here, the R move. And how much damage does that do? Okay, that does a decent amount of damage. It's, okay, that's leveled us up. Okay, I'm going to put 18 into chi. Is that going to give us enough chi? Okay, 15,000, there we go. Is this move going to do damage? Oh, that did a decent amount of damage, but not enough. Oh, no, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yeah, without, without a C-spec and a Q-spec, we cannot do anything. There we go, that, that move does 53 damage, bro. I don't know how I'm meant to kill these guys with 53 damage. How much chi have we got? 50, okay, there we go. 54, if I put 54 here, I can unlock the next move. This one, and put this in T. 
and now we should be doing a decent amount of damage to these guys especially with two wind moves okay we've killed one we need to kill this last person here we have two moves so it shouldn't be that difficult i'm hoping but this this mission took me way longer than it should have but yeah we can just use this move and then hit them and then wait until our team move comes back there we go and that, that literally that second move that second win move saved us because without that we'd have got absolutely destroyed but yeah, i think now we're gonna be like grinding a little bit doing like but i think now the plan is to get one of our modes and this mode here okay level 400 bloodline and i know i say this that like log grinding is very very boring but we're gonna have to do it to get to level 400 because without it I'm basically useless without a mode. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a little bit of log grinding and I will see you guys when my bloodline is level 400. I'm so, so sorry, but yeah, it has to be done. All right, guys, after a little bit of grinding, we have finally reached our level that we want with our bloodlines, level 400, and we can unlock and equip this mode. Finally, we have a mode and now we can equip it and okay let me see how much is it's going to give us yeah a huge amount of buff which is going to be absolutely amazing and when do we unlock mode two okay uh, yeah so it is mode two that we need from the boss drop not mode three and now we can actually start doing these green scroll missions a lot lot better and easier and faster okay except okay where's the green scroll missions over there bro we're going to be doing these in no time now because we're going to be doing so much damage it's gonna be so so easy and fast also i think i have like a ve lots of stat points yeah i have 1.4k stat points i'm gonna put 500 into this 500 into this and then 200 i'm just gonna split 200 in between them like so so i think now we can actually can we unlock this move here oh we need 1500 chi okay oh that was dumb for me i should have put a little bit less into my uh, what's it called nin and put more into my chi but to be honest we're going to be leveling up so fast now with these green scroll missions it's not really going to matter all right okay so okay shall we use our c spec here and oh look at that c spec bro i don't even know what's going on oh the only thing that i know happened is they got destroyed bro holy yeah this mode is gonna be so so powerful just made it like so much more powerful a mode is just so you need a mode in shadow life to even like kill like these green skull machine guys fast and also okay bloodlines okay we're so close to unlocking this move here level 430 so that's gonna be very very good i'm looking forward to that have we unlocked any of the quests okay there's some quests that we're nearly gonna finish like with this one here super close to finishing and it's like level 316 that's not that far off either i keep on accidentally pressing q here and i think it's a counter move so we're gonna test it out now with that green, with another green scroll mission we're gonna test out the counter move because i think it's gonna be so so good all right i want to now try my q spec move okay i'm gonna hit this guy here and then i'm gonna press q there we go wow that's a very very good move and that basically just destroys him and now we can use our c-spec quickly so we can finish these guys off before our md runs out and bro yeah this mode is so 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 good bro it's very very good and it's like like all the moves are just very very good a corrupt ninjas okay these ninjas can get destroyed easily our md's run out now so we can check our stats okay 800 i'm gonna put i think i'm gonna put 500 into chi so we can unlock this next move here the air blast and we can put that in y we can win can we unlock this move okay we need to want 2000 chi oh we can actually get this okay i'm gonna put 300 into chi we can also unlock this move here we basically unlocked every single move in the air element so we are chilling right now we're gonna i feel like after we actually like max out everything we're gonna be killing bosses so so quick and easy okay now we mowed up into form one and absolutely obliterate the corrupt embers now I'm going to use my V move because I remember before I was like doing 52 damage. How much damage is it going to do now? Okay, I've done 15,000. Wow, that is a big, big, big difference. Okay, now I can use my F move. And are they dead from the F move? Nope. Okay, we can use our Y move here, our newfound Y move. Oh, never mind. That's a close range move. And we can just use our Q spec. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. There we go, bro. This is way too, bro. This is way too overpowered. Now we're going to do another green scroll mission before we start our training arc. Where we basically just like try and train as much as possible and i think our training arc i'm gonna try and aim to get to level probably like level 700 with so we can unlock all these three moves however we're not gonna have enough cash though which is gonna be the problem but yeah i'm just gonna hit these guys here and then why move oh never mind okay our c spec there we go and they got absolutely obliterated bro this is this mode is too too overpowered okay i think our next yeah i think our next goal is to do a training arc and try and get to level 700 with our moves 
and potentially get like a million. I, I don't know how much coins these green score missions give me. I think they give me 5k per one. But yeah, I think as we level up, we get more coins per like mission. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing a training arc where we get to like level 700 with our bloodline. Maybe potentially even unlock this bloodline here. I feel like it'll be super, super cool. And yeah, training arc part one commences now. Alright guys, after a lot of grinding we have finally reached level 700 and also I decided to do some AFK work like sleeping in the game so we also have 1.6 million rail coins which is amazing which means we can basically unlock these two moves here which we are going to do and we can probably unlock, we can either unlock this move here or we can unlock the two element moves we'll just, you know what, I think I'm gonna unlock the bloodline moves first so the first thing I'm gonna do is unlock the kunai raijin and this one here i'm gonna put this in v put this in b and also unlock this and put this in n for now and also we can equip this mode and it says z spec mode 2 which is so so good oh it ooh, gives us like a decent boost is there a mode 2 to this okay there's no mode 2 and let me see the z spec well that's that's a really really cool z spec and is there a key spec Okay, I don't think there's a Q-spec, unfortunately, but yeah, the mode itself looks pretty, pretty cool if I say so myself. Whatever, the Minikaze mode is, in my opinion, a lot, lot better. And then let me try these two moves here, the B move. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's a really nice move. Wow, that's a really nice move. And then the V move. Oh yeah, the V move is like the move that I can just like throw the kunais. And then if I press on them, I think I press on, where's, where, I think I press on here. There we go, we can just teleport to it, which is very, very cool. You know what, we might as well do a green scroll mission just to so, like, showcase our new moves. So let me just go and form one. And also, when do we... Okay, form two, we need yeah, the Minikaze boss drop, which we're going to do. And I can tell this guy is going to be a lot of hard work. I think it's a 1 out of 15 chance, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to require us to kill him many, many, many times. I'm hoping we do get lucky. However, it's very, very hard to get lucky in this game. But yeah, okay, the B move here. Is the B... Okay, the B move, is that going to kill them? Okay, it kills one of them. Then let me try my end move. Oh, okay, the end move just stops time and just kills them. That's wow, that's a really, really, really good move. I think now, let me check elements. We can unlock these two elements, right? There we go. We can put this in G, this one in H. And uh, have we got... Okay, to be honest, we don't really need any more coins. Unless to unlock this move here. And we're probably going to get lots of coins from that mini Kaiser mission. Especially, especially that we're going to do it a lot of times. So now I think the best thing to do is just to travel to the Minato, like Narumaki Bridge, and I will see you guys there. All right, we have spawned right in front of the Minikaze boss, and now we're going to have to kill him. I can already tell this guy is going to be so much work. Okay, he's already comboing us. The one move that might carry is the end move if it works. Never mind, it just got cancelled. And now we're just going to have to use our C-Spec. To be honest, I don't even know how to fight this guy because this guy is so, so strong. Okay, I'm just going to use like every move that I have in my arsenal and just hope for the best. Especially when he rests, that's probably the best time for me to actually kill him. Okay, we don't even have like, we don't have like a health stim or anything. So that's going to put us at a disadvantage straight off the bat, which is not good at all because this guy does so much damage. It's unreal. Okay, yeah, this guy is already going to be so, so hard to kill. Okay, I'm going to use my arm move. Okay, there we go. No, can we dodge that? Nope, we can't. Okay, when is this guy going to go into resting? Is the guy... Okay, there we go. He's rested. Okay, we can use our C-spec. And then, I think after this, we're going to probably die very, very soon because this guy's came back. And can we use this? There we go. That does a good amount of damage. Wow. However, we're dead. Okay, yeah, this guy is going to be a lot, a lot of work. Yeah, I don't think we can get the health pot just yet. I think after we complete the mission once or twice, that's when we'll get the health pot. But for now, I don't really want to hit this guy until this guy runs out of moves. And then we can use our C-Spec. There we go. 
Okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Now we're gonna let my guy fight him. No, 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 please, man. Kazi, don't go for me, bro. There's literally another guy right there. Why is it? But why don't both of them go for me? Okay, relax, 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 relax. I'm dead here. Okay, we need to run away from where he spawns. Yes, sir. Okay, now we now we could rest a bit. This guy is a tricky boss, especially when you like barely have any HP and like yeah, you don't have a health similar health bot. It's a very very annoying. The C spec does a decent amount of damage to him. Wow. Okay. And now hopefully he doesn't go for us. Just go for the other guy. Please, bro. Please, I'm do not I do not I don't hit you by purpose, bro. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Relax. Why is this guy still following me and I'm dead? No. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, this guy is gonna be super, super tricky to kill. And I'm hoping he doesn't doesn't drop it now whilst I'm dead, because then I'll have like no hope of getting to him in time to get it. Why is it not working? Okay, what I don't even know. I don't know if he dropped it. I don't know what drop that was. But I'm hoping it wasn't the second drop. But yeah, we're just going to be killing this guy over and over again, guys, until we do get the drop. And I will see you guys then. Alright guys, after killing that guy like 20, 15, 20 times, we finally got the drop. Wow, that took a long, long time. We also got another drop, which is, is like a Rasengan bomb, and I don't think we'll be able to afford it, unfortunately. It's like 3 million. If we go on silver abilities, it's called like the Magma bomb or something. It's like 3 million rail coins, which we cannot afford yet. Yeah, 3.2, which we definitely can't afford. And we have 956k, which means one more green scroll mission, and we'll be able to afford our last move. Let me go and blood on this move here, mini Kaza style, so Syngun Overdrive, and now we can press C2 for Form 2, and look at us bro, we've got like basically the Baryan mode of the mini Kaza bloodline, it looks so, so amazing, and bro, it gives us some very, very good buffs, and it just, it's just such an amazing, amazing bloodline, now we're gonna do a green scroll mission, I think we need to only do one, maybe two, just so we can get like an extra 50,000, so we can buy that last move, and then we can fight our student slash rival Obito, let's beat him a second time because in the anime we beat him we're gonna be beating him one more time but yeah okay c spec like so oh look at that c spec rotates them bro look at that combo of the c spec holy let me check the q spec okay the q spec is an amazing one too bro it pauses time and does everything is there an e spec okay i'm guessing this mod has to have an e spec right Okay, it also has an e-spec. What is going on with this mode? Yeah, this mode is absolutely amazing. Holy. Okay. Oh, this guy's actually kind of comboing his head. Let's wait another four seconds so we can use our c-spec again. Because that, wow, that was amazing. Okay, look at this. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Rotates him. Literally flips him like a burger and absolutely destroys him. And yeah, that's got us to a million coins. And we can unlock the mini Kazi style to sing and drive and we're gonna put this in n and then we're gonna put these f g and h and wow bro that was this mode is absolutely amazing holy all right guys now we're gonna be going to the obito slash forge akuma boss spawn point and i will see you guys then and there all right we're stood right in front of our boy obito slash forged akuma's spawn point and do you want to fight him yes we do okay i'm gonna put my form 2 on okay he's got a susano and he's got the normal variant so we need to basically kill them both so first of all i think we need to get rid of the susano because i feel like it's going to be the most annoying thing to do is get rid of the susano so we're going to use our c-spec here okay i don't know why i don't think that did like lots of damage it just didn't like do the animation because it's a susano okay we need to get rid of the susano bro let me go for a bit what's going on no 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 we're in a different dimension oh my god okay we're gonna use my new move my end move if he just lets me go please bro he, oh bro he just he just teleported me to what is this bro i'm getting comboed right now i don't even know what to do okay i'm gonna use my end move oh that that's a really 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 good move and that did like forty thousand, which is amazing okay i'm gonna use my c-spec on this guy again okay and just use this move Oop, I accidentally went down. Let me go back up. This is... We need to, like, kind of play a bit scummy until we get rid of the Susano. Because that's, like, the most annoying thing that he has. And how how much... Okay, the Susano's got 200k left. So we've got... We can easily, easily, easily destroy it. Okay, and we need to use the wire wind move. Okay, there's so much damage. And now we can use the arm move. And that should kill him. And we can do some M ones. There we go. Okay, the Susano has been defeated. And now it's just our Forge Akuma boss that needs to be defeated. So we're just going to use this combo on him. Okay, we're going to pop a health potion. 
and now go absolutely just ham on him. Okay, there we go. We're gonna use that. Oh, that's singing. That does so much damage. Okay, we're gonna use this too. That's an insta one too. You don't even need hand signs for that. Bro, that is so overpowered. Oh, look at that Q spec, bro. I think that Q spec is the C spec of the first mode. And that was such an amazing, amazing C spec. Okay, yeah, this guy has literally no chance against us at all now that he doesn't have a suit to know. We basically took his only good power. Okay, and now he's basically went to AFK mode. We can use this. Boom. Okay, his resting mode is just gonna get absolutely destroyed. There we go. And is the Q spec ready? Oh, look at that, bro. Look at the combos. I'm telling you, bro, in PvP, this is just such a broken, broken bloodline because you can just combo one after the other and the person can't do anything about it. Let me just use my health stim here. And now we can use this wind move and use this. Okay, now we can combo him a little bit if he doesn't run away. There we go. And just hit him. Never mind, he's hitting us, but we can still hit him a little bit. Okay, what's he done? Okay, he just weaved the hand sign and nothing happened. We can use the Strasinga move. Okay, next time he goes into resting, I think that's the time we absolutely destroy him. Okay, he's gone to resting now, so we can use our Q-Spec move. Because I feel like that's like the best one that does so much damage, especially when he's still. Look at that, bro. It literally deletes his HP. Then he can use this. Oh. Bro, look at this, bro. This guy, I feel so sorry for him. He can't do anything. I think the C-Spec doesn't do that much damage against him because he's a boss and, like, he can't really combo bosses. And then use my M move, this one here. Okay. And I think one more wind move and he should be dead. Never mind. Okay, we're going to use just a little bit of M1s and a Q-Spec. And the Q-Spec should kill him if he stands in the same place. And there we go, bro. That was so, so easy. Minikaze Minato destroys Obito once again. And I'm telling you, bro, this mode is just a must-have. It's such an amazing, amazing mode to have. But yeah, guys, that has been the video of me spending 100 days as Minato Namikaze in Shindo Life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other Naruto or slash like any characters you want me to do in Shindo Life. That would be very, very appreciated. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys. And peace out, guys. Peace out.